Hey, welcome to Sunday Talks and Tips with Brandon. Today, we are going to be trying to design our very own homemade softbox like kit for our little home office out of an easy foil casserole pan and a little light that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Will it work? Stick around. Find out. If you're not a subscriber yet, be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button down below and ring that bell icon so you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. So what do y'all think? Casserole pan? And a lot. Well, let's open it up and have a look-see and see what we got. Pretty lightweight thing. I mean, it's really lightweight. Let's uh, put some batteries in it and see what we got. I don't know if it'll flicker or not. You know, a lot of times the lights flicker. Uh, yeah, got some batteries right here. Ooh, it's yellow. Hmm. That's not what I was hoping for. What if we ran it through the middle right here? Would it stick it out too far? Because I was thinking about running it like that. There. Is that fancy or what? What I think is we can run it like that. Cut me a hole right there. And uh, probably put a piece of tape across it. What do y'all think? Let's uh, give it a go and see what happens. We'll just kind of guesstimate. Nothing like guesstimations, is there? Remember, always cut away from you. Let's see if that's big enough. The good thing about the temple, it's easy to poke a hole through. How about that? How's that? Now, I just so happen to have some tape. <laughs> the big question is, can I find the end of it? I don't think one piece is going to hold it. All right. So there it is. But as you can see, it sticks out past this lip. So I'm thinking... Probably a deeper pan, but let's see how bright this is. What do y'all think? Kind of hard to tell. All right, hold on. Let's get me down here. Ooh, that makes it look really weird, huh? What about this? Let the camera do its job now. What if we brought that around? Does it make a difference? <sighs> Can we see? It's yellow, though. But, I think it works. I have one more idea as what I was going to do to begin with, but uh, this light bulb's not bright white or even white. So... I have an idea that might make it white. It was going to be to diffuse the bright white light. Eh, this don't need any diffusion, but just needs some color. So, I'll be right back. Alright, I am back with some material. 
This was $5, I believe, for two yards at Walmart. I believe it was Walmart, yeah. So, let's lay this out and cut it out and see what we got. All right, there's that. Throw that down there. Nothing else would make a nice tablecloth. That's what I'm saying. It don't lay flat and wobbles. But I don't think that light's going to get hot enough to cause a problem. I can about cut it down that crease right there. What do y'all think? Just need enough to fold over that edge. Because Nikki supplied me with some itty bitty baby clothespins. I don't know exactly what you call them, but baby clothespins to me. Right. Let's try that right there. We'll come over here and just kind of guesstimate again. I do a lot of guesstimating. All right. Let's get them out of the way. See what we have. There. I think we got eight. Y'all ready to see what this looks like? Did that diffuse it a little? That bulb's not going to get hot. So, you can tell scary stories down here like this. What if we put it over us, or behind us, or above us, or right beside us? And it's just a little bit of light. You can see the drop off. I put it around there. That's a little shadow. So, there it is. It will work. And uh, I was going to be smart and tell y'all how much this cost, but uh, I really don't remember. I know this lot right here was $7.99 at Hobby Lobby, but they have a 40% off coupon online. So I need some wine, don't I? Uh, how's that? Look at the shadow. Anyway, they have a 40% off coupon, and uh, I think it came out $4.99, something like that. And I think these pans were a couple of dollars, and the material, like I said, was five. But if you've got some thin white material, anything will work. You don't have to go buy material if you've got some. So anyway, that's that. It will work. And I, what I was thinking about, we need to cast a little more light in here, don't we? I think my light that I have on the camera is uh, running low. Let me turn this on. Ooh, how's that? That's much better, isn't it? But what I was thinking is if you could run like a pole, you know what might work? is a uh, paper towel roll, roll, you know, after the paper towels are empty. Put that on there, and you might could slide it down on a tripod or either way, you'd have a handle down here. You could uh, attach it to something. So what do y'all think? Was that an ingenious ideal or what? It's not my ideal though. I got it offline. Uh, I'll see if I can figure out who it was that I watched that came up with that idea. So in the meantime, I hope this was of some kind of use, slight tip or a tip on how to save some money.
I do think a light bulb would work better with you know a light socket and go in. But hey, this does the job. For ten bucks or less. Well, say fifteen bucks. Let's see four. Uh, well, minus the material, you're talking ten less than ten dollars. It's pretty cheap for a light. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all keep on keeping on. And I'll see y'all down the road. Bye, y'all.